Welcome back people to the QGIS course, Professor Piyush here. So in the previous video, I showed you how can you render your layers based on the scale. Like, let's say if I zoom out my plan and my building layers are gone and you can see it's grayed out here so that I can see the visual properly. I can see the road layouts, road networks and all those things. So I showed how to do that in the previous video. This is all part of symbology. We are still in the symbology chapter. Next in symbology, I will show you how to add a new symbol layer. If you remember in one of the video, I showed you how can you change or edit the current symbol layer, which is like an outline, which you can see here in the buildings. So these buildings are basically, sorry, the outline of these buildings are the symbol layers, right? And this is a map layer, right? So there is a difference. Please don't get confused because I will be talking on those terms. So this is a map layer. And the outlines and other changes or even the texture over this color and everything will be the symbol layer right so that i have explained in one of the previous videos how can you play with the current symbol layer but let's say if you want to add some new symbol layers into it and want to represent your thing in a different way let's say you want to highlight the land use in a different way with some texture or some lines or any other hatch patterns anything just to you know highlight that area on the site or let's say you want to highlight the restaurants or, or the shoppings or the schools in a different texture so that they come out and pop out in the plan uh, very clearly so we can do that in that cases so to do that again let's see what i can do with the land use i will uh, double click right click you can right click in the properties or you can go from here from the layer styling panel but let's go with the double click and bring that here uh, you go back to symbology and in symbology you will see there is a fill rollout just click it under that fill there are the one simple fill layer which is currently the uh, color of the land use that is by default and this fill is combination of different layers right so if i select this i can add one more layer in this just go to the right hand side you will see an add symbol layer click it and you will see a new default simple fill is there if you apply it so it will overcome the simple fill because it's a solid color color right you don't want it so what we'll do we will do some tweaks in this for that i will select the new one the new simple fill which is a blue color and i will go back down right if you remember previous video i showed you how how to change the stroke so you can go to stroke style here and select the rollout and make it no pen right and fill style if you want to change the fill style you can go back to fill style option and the rollout and you will see by default there are a lot of fill style options let's say you want to show some dots so that you can highlight the land use you can select any one of them like dense one to dense seven so let's say i select dense five and apply it and you will see another layer is overlapped on the top of the simple fill old layer right but still i can see the color behind it i cannot see much color but yes a little bit of coloring is there so what i'll do i'll go back go back to the symbology select this uh, simple fill and this time let's select uh, diagonal right and apply it now you can see the back side layer also right because there are two layers look closely here under the fill there are two layers one is simple fill and one is uh, simple fill with the texture right so le let's say if i don't know let's see i can orient them or not yes so if i select this if i go to the right hand side you can see move up option and apply if i do that the the simple fill layer which was the textured one is gone behind right so you can play with this let's bring it back apply and play with it see which is best for you which which represents the plan better you can do like this right similarly you can add multiple layers in this till you you know reach the texture or the representation you want or you can do it for other layers as well so i i would like to invite you to do that yourself try to represent your you know like rivers or restaurants in a different way to highlight them instead of the land use right you can you can Try working on that. See which plan is speaking more if you do these changes. Okay. So, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this kind of 
a road network using you know symbology changing the symbol layers and structures and how can we give thickness to them and how can we create boundaries and also i'll show you how to remove these intersections which you can see here currently they are the roads are intersection how can we make it smoother and make it as a one unit so all those things we'll cover in the next video where i'll be telling you how to order the symbol layers like these two layers i've added how to put them in order and create a good road network so see you there guys